Well, welcome. This is Sister Mary Francis of, of Flanagan. Oh, I did have a little bit of Irish whiskey, but, but, but not, no, not as much as the first time with the rosary beads. And I still haven't gotten to the bottom. What are those rosary beads? Have you seen my rosary beads? <laughs> no, sister. You know, I am praying for you, Mom. Just I'm not praying on each rosary bead because I'll be damned if I'm going to say just a three-foot rosary bead with <laughs> 400 beads. I haven't counted, but I'm... Anyway, do you like my purple glasses? Yeah. Well, I borrow them from my friend, Sue Ellen, who is the person behind all these videos. Ah, so, so. oh, I'm just... Oh, the whiskey. Okay, <laughs> the Irish fables. I wanted to tell you one Irish fable, but I think it's Irish, and if not, enjoy it. Anyway, okay, the Irish fable goes like this. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating a Christmas pie. He pulled out his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I? Now, this Irish fable has had me puzzled for quite some time. Yeah. Maybe perhaps I had too much of St. Patty's. Well, St. Oh, he's not a saint. He's my Uncle Patty, not St. Patty. <laughs> oh, yes, he's no way a saint. He's a barbarian uncle for that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, back in character. I'm out of character. And he sends all these Irish flasks of Irish whiskey straight from Ireland and Dublin. It's not my fault. He sends them. Or perhaps it's my fault I drink it. Well, I'm from Ireland. No, no, no. I'm going to drink the whiskey if it's right there. Oh, for a son, Holy Ghost. Little Jack Horner. Sitting in a corner. Why is this little boy sitting in a corner? He's hiding. He took the pie. He must have. He must have taken the pie somehow, some way. Why was he sitting in a corner? And, and another thing. Who eats the pies with a thumb? <laughs> Why isn't he using a fork or a spoon? And then thirdly, thirdly, a plum in a pie. <laughs> it's a Christmas pie. Is it a plum pie? Regardless, you notice how I say that's a lot. I say regardless. Regardless. Okay, here's the deal. He pulls out the plum and decides he's a good boy. You're not a good boy. You're hiding eating a Christmas pie. You're being sneaky. And if that's the case, Where's those Christmas pies? Perhaps it would do me some good. I'd quit the drinking of that Irish whiskey. And if that's the case, if all we needed was a Christmas pie to be good in pulling out a thumb, no, a plum, not a thumb, no, the thumb and the thumb, the thumb and the plum, if that's all we needed to be good, guess what? All the psychiatrists, so, so, social workers, even, even me, well, I don't do any counseling, but the priest, the priest shouldn't really do any counseling because they're drinking too and carrying on with little boy scouts in the side. So all the counseling and the counselors and the doctors and all the social workers would be out of business because we'd all be going to the store and marching buying the Christmas pies. But of course, if the Christmas pies, they're only serving those Christmas pies for one time a year. So uh, so you're out of business one time. That's a major holiday. They make the most money when people are depressed then. And act and carrying on a fool. I tell you what, that's one fable I still have not yet to understand. But that's a story for another day. This is Sister Mary Frances O'Flanagan from Dublin saying happy holiday.